welcome to Oracle Exadata demo session, which is basically provided by MindMagix. So, firstly, let me introduce MindMagix. We are basically delivering quality trainings for more than 400 plus IT courses. We have got more than eight plus years of experience in delivering different IT courses as a company. More than 400,000 students and professionals have been already trained across the globe. Most of the trainers that we have, they have at least 10 years of experience. And we are not only delivering the trainings to the individual candidates, but we are also offering corporate programs, which can be on site at the customer's site as well as they can be through the virtual mode using live virtual class format. Let me introduce myself and I hold more than 14 years of experience in various banking and telecommunication sectors as a database administrator. For last more than 7 plus years, I have been involved into some part-time trainings which I deliver in my free time. The key areas where I work, they are Oracle Exadata. I have been working on Exadata since X2. So currently, we are using X7 and X8 racks in our production environment. I have been working on two Oracle Golden Gate, Oracle Rack, Oracle Applications. I have been working on eBusiness Suite like 11i, then R12.1, R12.1. I have been working on performance tuning. In my previous job, I was responsible for query tuning, warehouse management, VLDB maintenance. Also taking care of Oracle Fusion middleware technologies, especially the logic server. I have been working on big data and Hadoop, Amazon AWS, Cloud, OCI Cloud, Azure Cloud and GCP. I am Oracle Certified Expert on Oracle Exadata, Certified Expert on Oracle Rack, as well as on Oracle Database Performance Tuning. I am Oracle Database Implementation Specialist for Database Security Products. I am OCP version 12C, 11G, 10G and 9I. So this was a brief about myself. Now. Moving on, what basically we are going to learn in this training, right? So, I'm going to share the course curriculum, the topics that we are going to have in this entire training program. So, this course covers the X6 version of Oracle Exadata along with the 12C version of Oracle Database. The topics that we are going to cover in this training, they are Oracle Exadata Database Machine Overview. So, basically, we start with the overview about Exadata. Now write about it history, how the product got evolved, what was the first model, what is the current model, right? How many transitions this box has already seen. We know that this is a million dollar box, right? Then we will be discussing Exadata database machine architecture. Next topic would be for key capabilities of Exadata database machine where we talk about the major features like smart scan, HCC at a very high level, right? Flash cache, etc. We also have a topic which is initial configuration. This topic I personally, you know, suggest everybody to understand carefully, you know, because this is very important in order to understand how the box is configured because we know that Exadata is something which is mostly configured by or their own engineers are building the box and handing over to the customer. But how they are doing the things in the background, you know. What tool do they use? Which utilities they use? Which information is provided by customer? What is taken care by Oracle? So entire thing is covered in this topic, initial configuration, right? We have got topic of Oracle Excel data storage server configuration. So storage servers, right? Those who are already aware what Excel data storage server is. Right, so this is also called as Exadata cell server or Exadata cells. So how the storage is configured? What is cell disk? What is grid disk? How ASM is configured? How database is actually going to consume the storage towards the end? So entire thing we are going to discuss in this particular chapter. Then another topic would be for IO resource management, which is basically uh, you know a feature which is built on the top of DBRM database resource management. So we will see basically when you know we go through from the training that how DBRM and IORM can work hand in hand integrated and how do they work independent of each other. Next topic would be for recommendations for optimizing the database performance. What does Oracle suggest us 
this particular lesson would be based on a lot of white papers and meta notes right so i will share a lot of references white papers meta notes meta link ids right what does oracle say about optimizing the performance on exadata platforms because the way we manage our databases outside exadata it may not be exactly the same on exadata so we may have to you know think at a broader level when we are working on exadata and data systems we have a complete deep dive on the smart scan topic smart scan it is a you know a feature which is very much prominent on exadata consolidation options and recommendations would be our next topic how you can run multiple databases on a single exadata box or uh, on a single database server and what are the recommendations to do that how can you migrate Databases to Excel data database machine. What are the different techniques? There are a lot of methods like physical methods, logical methods, and the hybrid methods. So we will be discussing all those methods and all these topics that I have been, you know, discussing so far. It's not just the theory. We will also be doing the things practically on the lab sessions. Then the next topic would be bulk data loading. How do you load the data onto Exadata database machine? Then we will step into the monitoring part, Exadata database machine platform monitoring introduction, right? Then how do you monitor your database machine through the cloud control? How do you monitor your Exadata storage servers through cloud control as well as through the command line interface? So we have got a lot of commands like cell cli xs cli dvm cli so all those things we will discuss we will be seeing how to monitor exadata database machine database servers how to monitor infinite band network how do we monitor other components of database machine starting from the power distribution unit to the cisco switch right so a lot of other things we will discuss in these topics other useful Exadata monitoring tools, the utilities like ExaCheck, Exa Watcher, PFS Collector, Trace File Analyzer, right? And a lot more to come here. Then, how to perform backup and recovery on Exadata, how to perform maintenance tasks like shutting down, starting up, replacing SSD, replacing hard drive from Exadata. So, those things we will see. Then how patching is done on Exadata database machine, a detailed discussion on patching, detailed discussion on automated support ecosystem, which is also called as ASR. So all these are the topics that we cover in this training. If you have any plans to take up the certification exam, this course content is sufficient to crack Oracle Exadata certification exam also today's agenda in this demo session we are going to learn that what training is a module is offering you and at a very high level we are going to understand exadata or an engine system so let me just give you a brief introduction of exadata so oracle says that exadata database machine is engineered to be the highest performing and the most reliable platform for running the database so let me give you a background about exadata so in the very first version of exadata it was a joint venture of hp and oracle and the first version of exadata was v1 right v1 v as in Vancouver. okay first version was v1 and before oracle released v2 oracle acquired some microsystems v2 onwards the series changed to x so after v2 next model was x2 the next three x4 x5 x6 this is what we are going to learn in this training which is on x6 all right currently in the market x8 is the latest release as per the date where i am speaking in this session x8 is the latest system but there is no training available even by oracle university on x8 currently exam and everything that is also built on x5 and x6 right so exadata it is an engineered system but not the only engineered system so there are other engineered systems also available in the market even oracle themselves they have released exadata they have released supercluster they have exalogic they have exalytics 
others other vendors like SAP have their HANA engineered system, IBM have NetEza engineered system, right? So this is not a monopolistic market. Most of the people have a myth that Exadata is a monopoly of. There's nothing called monopoly in IT industry. So Exadata database machine, it is still across all these engineered system. This is certified to be the best among all now talking about the technology scope in the market so these days when we talk about oracle accelerator you guys can you know see whatever jobs job openings job requirements you're getting in your inbox most of the emails right they come with the requirement of accelerator so this is something which is you know the hottest technology in the database field so this is some something you know back in time extra data wasn't acquired by the market the you know trend was at a lower side if, if i see four or five years ago was there were very less number of customers using extra data but if you see today extra data is getting more and more common because oracle is not only offering it at you know by selling it to the customer but also there is a concept of extra data cloud at the customer right for more information, you can check through Oracle documentation. What is cloud at customer? So that's another technique of promoting their accelerator and then it's just pushing that to every customer, even those who have a small budget. Now they can also afford running on accelerator. Accelerator is also being offered on OCI cloud as a service, right? So on Gen 2 cloud, OCI, Oracle cloud infrastructure. Excel data is also available on the cloud as a service. Certification which is available that is 1Z0070. That's the certification code which is available on you know uh, on Oracle University website. Currently, this certification is very high in demand in the market because this is not a very common certification. You may find people who are certified in RAC who may be certified in OCP who may be certified in you know other stuff a lot of certified people these days in Oracle cloud but there are less number of certified people on Oracle Exadata. So that's where Exadata becomes even more important. The learning becomes more important because there is a lot of demand less number of certified people so when you do, do the certification you may actually you know it will add value to your profile now introducing you to exadata so this is how the box looks like you can if you draw your attention on the slide on the right hand side i am displaying a box this is a cabinet which is holding a lot of servers so let me use a different pointer to highlight some. So if you draw your attention carefully, at the bottom, these seven, and here, these seven, these are the storage servers, which are also called as exadata cells. These four, and these four, four here, and for here these are database servers that means in total we have got eight database nodes which eventually means we can run a rack database up to eight nodes but that's not end of the story if you are thinking that's the maximum that's not right there is a way to get more but that's a later story we will discuss when you actually join for the trial in the middle you can see here there are three switches there are three switches in the middle these are infinite band switches also called as ip switches which provide connectivity between the storage and the database server right so storage these seven storage servers how do they connect to these database servers via the infinite band switch so the storage which is provided by exadata you know that has a mix of hard disk as well as flash storage right the database servers are very powerful they have got a lot of cpus a lot of ram available in them up to 6 tb ram is possible up to 144 cpu cores are possible so numbers are huge basically you can also host a private or a public cloud from this system 
so it's an engineered system it's a fusion of everything software hardware os network database everything is built in everything is certified by oracle on the top of everything right so for any issue related to hardware software you just have one support desk to talk to which is oracle in height if you see this box physically in your data center it is about 73 inches tall so a brief about exadata now coming to the lab setup that we are providing first of all as i already told you that this training is not just going to be a kind of theory training but this is a lab oriented training so you get enough amount of labs to perform as well as to build your knowledge what we need from the hardware side on the participants machine is a 16 gb ram should be there and 100 gb disk space that's all we need you may survive in 12 gb but 16 gb is recommended to run the simulator smoothly we give you a virtual simulator with a lifetime access so it's not a trial version which is going to expire after 30 or 45 days this is going to be the lifetime property the lab that you get and for labs we are not doing a practice wherein you know uh, we are not going to give you just an activity guide you are performing the steps without knowing exactly what you are doing on the other hand i will be showing you all the labs on my machine and then you do that later on using the recorded video because every session which is going to be held that is recorded and towards the end of each session you get the recording for that day so watching the recording you can use that as a reference or as a help and then you perform your lab activity so technically you would be revising the things you will be doing every lab twice one time with me and one time without what we provide as additional course resources we will be sharing the presentations with you those presentations which i will be using in the sessions the same presentations will also hold the notes pages under them for you can refer those for more details i will be sharing lot of useful references from oracle documentations and other resources we help you with the sample resumes and resume preparation guidance how you can highlight your skills for excel data in your resume now any doubts regarding the subjects right or any course timing related queries you can all check those things with mindmagic's concern team you can get in touch with them at info@mindmagic.com mobile numbers are also given below and with this i would like to thank you for attending this demo session i hope you enjoyed the session and would hope to see you in the training